It's the fastest, most extreme, and most exclusive production super sports car in the world. The French-made vehicle shoots along the road at a top speed of 420 kilometers an hour. It's this ambivalence between beauty and beast. You've seen them in movies, on posters, or maybe flying past in a blur on a highway. The Bugatti Chiron isn't just a car, it's the supercar. From its carbon fiber body to its 1,500 horsepower W16 engine, the Chiron is made of over 2,600 parts, and every single one of them matters. Whether it's the custom titanium bolts, the aerospace grade brakes, or the spoiler that doubles as an air brake, everything is there for a reason. So, if you've ever wondered how one of the world's fastest, most expensive, and most powerful cars is actually made, this is it. Let's head to Molsheim and watch a Bugatti come to life. To truly understand how Bugattis are made, we need to know where they were born and who had the wild vision to create them in the first place. The legacy begins where Bugatti was born. Before Bugatti became the name behind the world's fastest car, it started as a dream in the hands of one man. Ettore Bugatti, born in Italy and raised in France, founded the company in 1909 in the quiet little town of Molsheim, nestled in the Alsace region. Back then, cars weren't just machines. They were a form of moving art, and Ettore believed in building vehicles that were both technically perfect and visually stunning. He once said, Nothing is too beautiful, nothing is too expensive. That mindset carried the brand forward for over a century. Molsheim, Bugatti's hometown, isn't just a factory site. It's hallowed ground for hypercar enthusiasts. This historic estate, where every Bugatti is built to this day, still feels more like a Renaissance workshop than a modern assembly line. The air smells like carbon fiber and leather, and there's a strange, reverent calmness inside, but the legend didn't stop at beauty. Bugatti made headlines in the 1920s with race car driver Louis Chiron, who won dozens of races driving these machines. And yes, the Bugatti Chiron you know today, it's named after him. This was the brand's DNA from the beginning. Precision, power, and pure elegance. Fast forward to now, over 100 years later, and Bugatti is still rewriting the rules of performance. Only now, they're doing it with a car that can hit 420 kilometers per hour. So how do you go from a quiet French village to building the fastest production car on Earth? Let's step into the modern Bugatti facility, the place where speed meets craftsmanship, a supercar that breaks the rules. At first glance, the Bugatti Chiron looks like something from the future, but every curve, vent, and edge is built with a very specific purpose, to conquer physics. The Chiron has a 16-cylinder W engine, produces a mind-blowing 1,500 horsepower, and can go from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in just 2.4 seconds. That's quicker than it takes to read this sentence, but here's the kicker. Back when engineers first designed this monster, many believed it just wasn't possible. The engine was too big, the heat too intense, the force is too wild. Yet Bugatti made it happen. The question wasn't, can we build it, said one engineer. It was how do we keep it from lifting off the ground like a jet? To solve that, they designed a whole new aerodynamic system, one that creates massive downforce to keep the car planted. And to lighten the load, they used carbon fiber, magnesium, titanium, and aluminum, materials you usually see in spacecraft, not cars. Inside and out, the Chiron is built like a weapon. Everything is engineered for pure speed and control. But a machine like this doesn't just roll off an assembly line. It's handcrafted piece by piece in one of the cleanest, most high-tech workshops in the world. And that brings us to where the magic really begins, the Bugatti Atelier. The Atelier, Bugatti's precision playground. Walk into Bugatti's Atelier in Molsheim, and it doesn't feel like a car factory. It feels like a luxury showroom, or maybe a science lab that builds spaceships. The floor, glossy white epoxy designed to eliminate static. The air, temperature and humidity controlled. The vibe, calm, focused, almost sacred. This is where every Bugatti Chiron is born. There are 12 individual workstations, each manned by highly trained craftsmen. At any time, there are only about 16 cars in production, and each one takes about two months to complete. It's not a production line, one Bugatti technician said. It's a choreography. The process is completely manual. No robots, no conveyor belts, just skilled hands and elite tools. Even the torque wrenches are smart calibrated digitally to apply the exact pressure on every single bolt. Each Chiron is made up of around 2,600 parts, and those parts aren't thrown together in bulk. Every piece is tracked, inspected, and fitted with precision. If one panel doesn't line up by even a millimeter, it's rejected. 
even the carbon fiber body is unique. The shell is laid, cured, and cut by hand. Once it's shaped, it goes through a multi-stage inspection process under special lights to check for the tiniest flaws. The workshop is so clean, technicians wear gloves to handle parts. Not for safety, but to protect the car from fingerprints. When you're building a car that costs upwards of $3 million, there's no such thing as close enough. And the first piece that sets the pace for this supercar masterpiece? The engine. Coming up next, we'll dive into how Bugatti builds the most powerful production engine in the world. The W16 engine, where power gets personal. If you think the outside of a Bugatti is impressive, wait until you hear what's going on under the hood. The Chiron is powered by a massive W16 engine, basically two V8s stuck together in a W shape, and it's completely hand-built. That's right, there are no robots slapping this thing together. Just a handful of elite technicians working in a spotless soundproof room in Salzgitter, Germany. Each engine weighs about 640 kilos, has 3,700 parts, and takes a full week to assemble. And no step is rushed. Every bolt, every piston, every wire is checked and fitted by hand. That includes four turbochargers designed to kick in at different speeds so there's no turbo lag. Just smooth, relentless power. Once it's built, the engine gets strapped to a test bench. For eight hours, it's pushed to the limit. Revs climb, sensors track hundreds of readings, and a giant cooling fan keeps things from melting down. This alone is more testing than most cars get in their entire lifetime. When we say every engine is tested like it's going into a race car, we mean it, said one engineer. And when it passes, it's shipped off to Molsheim, France, ready to meet its new home, the carbon fiber chassis. But before we get there, we've got to connect the dots between speed and control. The transmission. Marrying the power, transmission, and drivetrain. Now that the W16 engine has made it to Molsheim, it's time for one of the coolest steps in the process, the marriage. That's when the engine and seven-speed dual-clutch transmission are bolted together. This isn't your regular gearbox. It's custom-built in Italy by Ricardo, designed to handle 1,500 horsepower without breaking a sweat. And yeah, it costs about as much as a house. Technicians align the two components and secure them using 14 titanium bolts, each weighing just a few grams. That's it. This simple connection is what transfers all that wild power to the wheels. Then, the drivetrain comes together, including all-wheel drive and two smart differentials. These help the car stay grippy around tight turns without sliding out. Next, the exhaust system gets installed. With the engine running at full speed, temperatures shoot up to 500 degrees Celsius, so Bugatti fits a huge titanium muffler and heavy-duty heat shields to keep things safe. Every pipe, tube, and cable is hand-fitted for oil, fuel, and cooling. Even the smallest hose is tested to make sure nothing leaks when the car hits 400 kilometers per hour. It's like threading a needle while the engine roars behind you, one tech joked. At this point, the Chiron can breathe, move, and roar. But before it becomes a Bugatti, it needs its skin. Let's talk carbon fiber. Strong, light, beautiful, the carbon fiber body. If the engine is the Chiron's heart, the carbon fiber monocoque is the skeleton that holds it all together. This entire shell is handcrafted from layers of carbon fiber, one of the strongest and lightest materials in the world. It's the same stuff they use in fighter jets and Formula One cars. For the Chiron, the full weave stretches over 300 meters, and every thread is placed with intention. Once the shell is ready, the team installs the 2.5-kilometer-long wiring harness. It's what connects everything — sensors, lights, controls, and it all has to fit perfectly. That's why they screw it in using tiny titanium clips so nothing rattles or rubs. Next, the front and rear parts of the chassis are carefully lifted and joined. This step is also called a marriage, but this time, it's between the cockpit and the rear frame. It's locked in using those 14 titanium bolts we talked about earlier. Then comes the suspension system, which is fully adjustable depending on how you want to drive. Smooth and comfy, or sharp and sporty. Shock absorbers are installed and everything is synced with the car's onboard systems. The carbon fiber isn't just about looks. It's strength, speed, and safety all in one, a Bugatti builder said. By now, the car has its body, its brain, and its brawn. Next up, we'll see how it stays on the ground at 400 plus kilometers per hour, with brakes, tires, and aerodynamics built for a rocket. Braking at 400 kilometers per hour, stopping the unstoppable. So we've built the beast, 
It's got power, grip, and a carbon fiber core. But what happens when you need to stop a two-ton hypercar flying at 400 kilometers per hour? Enter the Bugatti braking system, engineered to stop time. The Chiron is fitted with carbon ceramic brake discs, each weighing around 8.5 kilograms. These aren't your regular car brakes. They can handle temperatures up to 1,100 degrees Celsius, which is hotter than lava. These discs are paired with massive brake calipers, the largest 3D printed titanium components ever used on a production car. And it doesn't stop there, literally. The Chiron also has an active rear spoiler that acts as an air brake. When you hit the brakes hard, this spoiler flips up to a 49 degree angle in just 0.8 seconds, creating 850 kilograms of downforce to keep the rear tires glued to the road. We don't just stop the car, we fight physics, one of the test drivers joked. All of this is controlled by a system called ESC, or Electronic Stability Control. It detects when you're braking hard into a corner and can actually brake individual wheels to keep the car balanced. With so much tech working together, the Chiron can go from 400 kilometers per hour to a full stop in just 9.3 seconds. That's faster than most sports cars can even reach 100. Once the braking and stability systems are installed, it's time to wrap the car in its final shape. The sleek, aerodynamic shell that everyone knows and loves. Aerodynamics in motion, sculpted by speed. The Bugatti Chiron isn't just fast. It's designed to look fast, even when standing still. Every curve, vent, and panel on this car serves a purpose. The C-shaped line on the side, it's not just stylish, it directs cool air into the engine bay. The horseshoe grille, it dates back to 1910, but it's been updated to help guide air into the front radiators. The body uses a mix of active and passive aerodynamics. The passive parts, like the roof scoop or fixed intakes, are always working. But the active parts, like the spoiler and diffusers, adjust in real time based on speed and driving mode. At high speeds, airflow under the car is just as important as above it. Bugatti designed the underbody with specific channels and flaps to reduce lift and increase grip. Even the wing mirrors are shaped to cut drag while cooling the brakes. This isn't styling, it's science, said a designer at Molsheim. Installing the body panels takes four days. Each one is pre-polished and protected during installation. Once fitted, the full shell looks like it's been poured over the car. Tight, aerodynamic, and ready to race. With the Chiron now fully dressed, it's time to see how it performs on the inside. Literally. Welcome to final testing. Final testing, pushing limits before delivery. With the car assembled, there's one thing left to do. Make sure it works perfectly. Every Bugatti Chiron goes through extensive testing before it ever reaches a customer. The first stage happens indoors where the car is strapped to a chassis dyno, basically a giant treadmill for cars. Technicians run the engine through 342 separate tests, including acceleration, braking, gearbox calibration, and power delivery. The car drives up to 200 kilometers per hour right there on the dyno. And the ventilation system simulates real wind so the engine can breathe like it would on the road. Then it's time for the real world drive. A test driver takes the Chiron out for over 350 kilometers, including city roads, country highways, and high-speed test tracks. At one point, they'll take it to 300 kilometers per hour, just to make sure everything feels perfect. They listen for rattles. They test the leather creaks. They check the digital display, climate control, steering feedback, even the sound of the door closing. If something doesn't feel right, it's not ready, says the quality supervisor. Once it passes, the Chiron heads to the final polish bay. The protective wrap comes off and the car is buffed by hand for hours. Every panel, every detail. This is where the supercar becomes a masterpiece. Only then is it ready for its final stage, being handed over to one very lucky owner. Custom delivery, where engineering meets. Emotion. The last step of the Chiron's journey is also the most emotional. Each car is custom built for its owner. From interior materials to paint colors, every part of a Bugatti is tailored, sometimes down to the stitching on the seats. That's why no two Chirons are exactly the same. Once testing is done, Bugatti invites the customer to Molsheim for delivery. The car is placed in a private reveal room, fully detailed and glowing under soft lights. And when the cover is pulled off, it's a moment. Before they drive away, the customer gets a full tour of their car, how to use every mode, feature, and system. Even the key is a work of art. You're not just buying a car, a Bugatti rep says. You're joining a legacy. 
Some owners even get to test their Chiron on the Colmar runway, where Bugatti has permission to perform high-speed runs between commercial flights. Imagine hitting 380 kilometers per hour before lunch, then flying home in first class. And that's how the Bugatti Chiron goes from concept to reality. From hand-cut carbon fiber to blistering speed. From German-built engines to French craftsmanship. It's more than a car. It's an experience. If you've ever dreamed of what it's like to own one, well, now you know how it's made. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you never miss out on how the world's most incredible machines are really made. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.